Hello there, this is Wendy. This is Wendy's Parade of Perfume. Here I talk about perfume that is on my shelf and what I'm wearing and what I'm doing and what I wanna talk about. So I think today I am going to do what is going to be my annual project pan. I did one last year and I kind of watched that and I was like, gosh, what did I even use up? I used up more than half of them really quickly. I used up a bottle of Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. I used up a bottle of Guerlain Samsara. I used up a bottle of Guerlain Shalimar. I used up a bottle of Serge Luton's La Folie de Berlin. And then I used up three or four smaller decants and, you know, like four mil sprays, that sort of thing, which isn't really bad. I have to admit, though, it's not like it took me a year to use all those bottles up. I mean, they had been in use for a long time and I was getting down to the nitty gritty. And especially those first three are perfumes that I wear all the time. So I've used several bottles up and it's not that hard for me to go through. Meanwhile, other bottles get languishing down there. But be that as it may, uh, two that I, I don't have that many here this year, honestly, that I'm going to focus on. Uh, two I'm just bringing back from last year's count. So let's just start with that. I think I can use this pretty quick. This is a bottle of Chanel Number no. 5 in Eau de Toilette. I prefer, especially in Eau de Toilette, I prefer the older versions and these old refill sprays. At one time, before things were so heavily faked, these were a little bit easier to find. I probably paid like 20 bucks for this and it was pretty full, but honestly, I really like this scent and I can probably use this up in like a month or two with judicious use even. So I'm going to be using up my bottle of Chanel number no. five that I did not use up last year. Another bottle I'm going to use up and only because I have a backup is my bottle of, ooh, Cap is getting, oh, it's because of the pink fluffy thing. It's so funny that I've managed, I mean, I've moved with this bottle and I still have the pink fluffy, the pink fluffy thing, but this is a bottle of Shalimar Parfum Initial Low. This is a stunning Irish fragrance with lots of bergamot and florals and vanilla and you know it's girl on so it has vanilla but realistically there's not much in here it's also not a bad spring summer scent so I'm going to really work hard on finishing this because I feel like there's just not a lot left in here uh, another maybe I'll try to like get the niche ones for last since we're on the girl on train I have a couple decants I've been really milking this one. Y'all remember this? This is Guerlain L'Instant Eau de Noël, Iris Milizem, whatever. Um, I don't know what is Christmassy about this, but it's kind of like a marzipan iris almond version of L'Instant. I would love to have a full bottle of this, but it's not one of those things that I'm like, I'm going to commit a crime to get this. You know what I mean? So... Um, also, I've had this open for several years. It still smells good. It's also coming into spring. So this is only going to be a couple wearings for me. And I'm just going to use it up and kiss it goodbye because I'm never going to be able to get this fragrance in my collection ever. Um, another Guerlain. And I have plenty, plenty more of this where this came from. Uh, not Shalimar, but this is a decant that I have left from Guerlain Leur Bleu. This is an Eau de Cologne, which is absolutely no longer made. I had had a bottle of it, but the sprayer just kind of broke, so I had to like break the bottle and decant the rest in here. Uh, I could do a whole review on Leur Bleu, but this is Eau de Cologne. This wears, it's still really super old-fashioned. I mean, this came out in 1912, but it wears more, it just gets to the base really fast compared to the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, especially compared to what's process, what's made today. Um, this has been reformulated to some degree. But yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about that. I'm just going to use this up. Laura Blue Decant. That's it for Guerlain. All of my bottles of Samsara are pretty full, so I don't think I'm going to finish up any Samsaras this year. Just more on the designer realm. Uh, this is Bottega Veneta. This is the original one. This is still pretty full. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to finish this or not, but this is another standard. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, my God. Standard, standard um, reach in my wardrobe. And I have lots of flankers for this. I have one more refill bottle. Once that's gone, that's gone too, though. Bottega Veneta, I don't even know if they make perfume anymore, do they? But this is all discontinued, which is really a shame. I think this could be a modern classic. I think this could be 
on the shelf and you know retail wise for years and years and it could possibly it doesn't smell anything like chanel number no. five but it is just so well made and so elegant and classy that i just think it's a stunner but again this is good for four seasons especially good in spring and summer and i'm going to be wearing this a lot continuing on with the designers this is especially because spring is coming um, this is from Hermes. This is Rose Ikebana. Let me see if I can actually get. Oh my gosh, it read it. <laughs> rose Ikebana. This is a really lovely rose scent. It's really light. It's like a tea style rose. And as much as I would love a full bottle of this, the full bottles are like 400 bucks. It's not happening. Especially since, well, I like it and I even love it. I'm not, I'm not going to save my money up and spend $450 on a bottle of this. But it's light, it's rose, it's perfect for spring, and I'm just going to use this up this spring. These are those little four mil sprays, so that's not going to be a problem for me to use up. Going back to Chanel, um, I have to tell you guys, I saw, I was just watching some dumb video on on. Uh, YouTube and it was like a really big man influencer like telling men when to wear and how to smell and how to dress to be like attractive and get the ladies and whatever and he had a bottle of ego east and tell me if I'm wrong but he kept pronouncing it egoist and I was like that is nails on my chalkboard and then for a second now you know how you're like maybe I'm maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong I'm not I know I'm not anyway this is Chanel ego east and it's a lovely floral spiced sandalwood quiet enough and refined enough to wear in the spring and summer as well this is a pretty old bottle and you probably can't hear this but it's it's getting real low once i'm done with this this is still available on the shelf and i'm definitely going to repurchase this i have no idea what's happened to it in the interim if it's still a good scent or not but i love rose spicy sandalwood perfumes and this is just a love for me but i'm going to use this up and probably buy another bottle on the same vein um it's funny. This is just a large, and a lot of decants this year, I know, but man, you got to use up your decants because they, they change. They're not as stable in the bottle and I just need to use them up. This is a bottle of Chanel Bois de Ile. This is the Eau de Toilette that came out in 2007. This is no longer available unless you want to like, you know, go on a wild goose chase, chase and, you know, spend three, you know, not pay your mortgage for three months. This is another sandalwood. It's funny because, um, you know, I have this thing where it's like, if I know I can't get it again, I don't wear it very much. I literally got this like 10 years ago. I, I bought this decant. That's all I've worn. I have a really big bottle of the Eau de Parfum that I wear more frequently, but it's time to wear this. It's a sandalwood scent and I love sandalwood. It's a spicy sandalwood scent. It's a, it's almost kind of oily it's not a dry sandalwood but it's not creamy either to me this is like an oily spicy sandalwood so i don't know how else to describe it but i'm just going to start wearing it more my goal this year isn't necessarily to use it up but it's just to get over my fear of using things up that i can't replace because i'm one of those people but this is a chanel bois de Ile. using it up this well maybe not using it up this year i only have two niche fragrances on here it's funny because i pulled this out just as in my little uh what perfume size are you video this is moss gown from providence perfume company this is another one that i was kind of like a full bottle was so expensive oh it smells so good but honestly a full bottle from them is like almost 200 bucks um they don't make these little sprays anymore i already used up one spray and this is my second one and i'm like oh don't want to use it up but this is also beautiful for spring and summer if you like aromatics elixir if you like herbal concoctions this is kind of that sort of scent. It it smells like an herbal tincture of wildflowers with a lot of moss. It's just so pretty. I love it. And I, this would be that... I'm not saving up for Rosa Gibbana, but I would save up for this. So once I use this up, I'm also probably going to replace it with a full bottle. But I think this will be really nice to wear this spring and summer. So Moss Gown from Providence Perfume Company. Another bottle of neglect that I just, I just need to get into it. Uh, this is another one on the, I can't get this again. This is a bottle from Miller Harris called Jasmine Vert. This is probably the most realistic. There's a lot of realistic jasmines out there. I shouldn't say that, but this is an unadorned green jasmine. It is so strong, like, like just pouring jasmine oil over you. It's more on the green side. It's not on the super indolic side, but this is like spring in a bottle. It is, if you like, like just 
really not screechy aggressive, but like we are flowers, we are the oils, we are the essences. This is what we smell like types of perfumes. This is um, a beautiful one, but be that as it may, I've used this quite a bit and we're getting to the end here and I'm just going to have to say goodbye to it. So I hope I have a good year with my Jasmine Vert and uh, that'll be it. But I have, I have a lot of perfume, so it's okay. Well, that was short and sweet. Again, not to bore everybody, but I almost just do this for myself so I can get in the headspace of using things up. I think I can use most of these up this year. It's a little bit less than last year and there's not, a, there's not a ton left. And, you know, like the Chanel, I don't need to use it up, but I just need to start using it. And I honestly don't expect to use up this Bottega Veneta, which wouldn't be the worst, the end of the world either. But we'll just reconvene next year. 2024 but for now this is 2023's version of project pan um let me know what you're trying to use up or if you're how do you even use things up like some people they will take i don't have any full bottles here right now but they'll be like i need to use up this full bottle that i don't really like and i don't do that i've talked a lot that i keep my likes on my shelf but as far as using a perfume that i don't care for and i want to get rid of i don't do that i either get rid of it or i just put it away until i like it again i'm not going to wear something that i don't want to wear um, I also don't take this on if it's a full bottle or getting to be a full bottle. I mean, even this, there's a good 10 or 15 mils left in here. This could probably take me all summer to use up. Uh, using a 100 mil bottle for me is difficult because I have a lot of perfume. So that's all I like to do, though. If they're getting to this nitty gritty, then, you know, I can at least get some things off my shelf. But that's all for today's topic, Project Pan 2023. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks a lot.